Also, in Spelunky... Not Spelunky. In Celeste, the main character is trans. Don't you guys want that? Look, her name is Madeline, and she is trans and gay. She's trans and gay, and this whole game was made by trans gays. Have you tried walking left at the start of Celeste? I honestly don't know if I have, but we're about to try, I suppose. Look at this gay little game. Really enjoyed this stream so far, but Dan, text to speech is distracting. Don't worry, it's not a common thing. Why are you so nervous, man? Why, 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 why? Add a third why? type of stream to the video games and political stuff, the VAUSH figures. Out technology streams. Sucks the text to speech can't figure out how to pronounce my fucking name. Um, yeah, I mean, we do those anyway, Here's don't what we? what happens when you play Celeste. Yeah. That's true. Trans writes, also, I got the Communist Manifesto as a gift today, so I don't have an excuse not to read it now. Yeah, the Communist Manifesto is pretty readable. Um, it's not, it's not, it's pretty fun to read. Woo! What happened to Doom Eternal? Don't worry about it, okay? This is a very simple, very polished platformer, okay? I think my donut was skipped over. Possibly, yeah. If you want a refund, just email me at voshvidia at gmail.com and give me your real name, and I will refund you. It's been a wild stream. I'll do voices. Actually, they do their own voices. I'm not going to interrupt them. But I will put myself in the bottom right so I don't block them. Yes, this game's on PC. It's very good. This woman has the opposite of the Thanos chin. Look at her. Not her. True! The little blip loops are so goddamn cute. Let's go. God damn right. First level, the abandoned corporate city. Such a cozy game. Oh yeah, here, let me come over here so I can see the screen properly. Haha! <laughs> Woo! Woo! -hoo. Strawberries are the collectibles in this game. After you get a strawberry, you have to touch the ground in order for it to actually count. If you get a strawberry and then die or fall, and restart at the beginning of the screen, it doesn't count. You didn't go left at the start, Re. Yes, I did, Sake. I did right at the beginning. There was a car and I jumped on it. What are you talking about? Hypers, if you agree that Sake Tanuki has gone mad. Is it a hard game? 
Um, it, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty damn hard game. The strawberries with wings will fly away if you dash. But not if you're there to catch them. Oh, Humphead, thank you. Hey, Vosh Fauci. Been watching for a while and you've really helped me. Before I saw you, I was depressed, ate up Tim Pool and Sticks and was a borderline incel. Now I am a depressed. Theory reading by Comrade. It's a struggle, but I am getting better. It is a struggle, Comrade. Um, you know, but that's a positive change. I'm I'm really happy to hear that. Thank you so much for the uh, for the words of appreciation. It means a lot to me. This is this game of boss fights? Yes, actually. Five of my donos were missed. This stream gives me the sads. A uh, comrade, like I said, if if your donation has been missed, please just. Go on ahead and um, ask me for a refund over email. Just give me your real name and I'll do it. The API just can't keep up sometimes, you know? Woo! Woo! I was trying to wean myself off of Wait. Vosh donations to make it so tempting. How can I? Refuse the chance to call Ben Shapiro a butthead over text to speech for 670 viewers. Also, 77777. It's funny because 670 isn't even that much by the standards, you know, of my of my typical streams. Um, it's true though. Every time Ben Shapiro is called a butthead um, to any audience of any size, um, he does get an itchy. He does get an itchy butt. An itchy butt crack. Whoop, that's not right. Whoop! This is what I imagine the text-to-speech stream would be. Much chiller. Look at this. Ah. My dono was missed, but you weren't even there, so it wouldn't even matter. I'm sorry, Plan. You, you guys know that when, like, Someone's been cheated. I do feel legitimately bad, right? I'm not like virtue signaling or anything. Am I going for a hundred percent? Well, maybe eventually, yeah. Oh, those little green orbs help you reset your dash. Prego, my ego. I would never do text to speech for a political stream. Oh, hello. Theo! My man! Look at fucking Madeline. Look at how chill she is. She sees some fucking dude at the wreckage of a fucking downed aircraft and she's like, oh yeah. Hello. Land, you shouldn't feel bad asking for a refund. If you go left at the start of the prologue, it unlocks all the levels and adds a cheat mode stamp to the file. It doesn't consider anything beaten, though. Wait, but I went left. The, the, I, you saw it. I went left. No below 92 bucks. Wish me luck with COVID-19. I'm essential. Good luck, comrade. I believe in you. I win left! Masario, uh, exclamation point email in chat. Oh, 
Oh, also this game has D sides now. Sure, why not? As if there wasn't enough content already. My god. I didn't even beat all the seasides before. Hey! My man! Me too, buddy. Tend to get more Twitter followers? Uh, keep tweeting. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you're in a ruined city. You crash landed here on an airplane. Guys, Vosh walked all the way to the left. He couldn't go farther. Hmm. True. Well, Comrade JTDA, almost all of the donations that I get are through a bank or through PayPal, and I have to refund those through my PayPal. But if you made it, if you made a payment, I can refund it. The D sides are not base game content; they were not made by the devs. Oh, I see. True. And this guy's chatty. Hi, person chat. If you're an insta pixer yourself. Legion Populi, an insta -pixer. You telling me you're not an insta -pixer? S in my fucking H. These fucking these these boomers in chat not even using insta -pics. Are you kidding me? You am I? You guys fucking joking? Are, are, are you pulling my leg right now? You fucking jokers. Boing. Ah. Ah, the boing kills. Ah. Ah, yes, the, the boing kills. Neat. Since I said father last dono, I must remind everyone that farther is for physical distance. Further is for metaphorical distance and father is for emotional distance. <laughs> Wait, did you just come up with that yourself? Nah, Vash, I am not gonna ask for a refund. I give you support willingly, that's that. Just wish my shitposts were red for shits and giggles, that's all. Now let's see if this gets red lol. This, of course, naturally, this is the one that gets read for you. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Pussy 445 and about, like, 3,045 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn hard that I can't even feel my left leg. Uh. That's some good-ass shit, brother. You let the ropes hit your belly? The floor? Or did you get- did you have a fucking towel to mop, mop them up? These are the questions. I found out that I was a boomer the moment I found out that I wasn't an Instapixer. Imagine not being an Instapixer. You fucking... Oh. You fucking goobers, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, in, uh, Instapix? Oh, uh, uh, what is that? Some kind of, uh, <clears throat> Apple app? These guys think Instapix is an app. No. No spoilers in chat. I figured it all out before, and I'll do it again. Fuck. Woo! That's what I'm saying. No. 
No! Okay. Mine. You don't have a TikTok? I don't have a TikTok. I, do, I don't feel like I'm attractive enough. Because isn't the point of the TikTok... Okay, so... If I'm not mistaken, the point of TikTok is that you take 15 seconds of song lyrics and then you dance to them while pointing at text you've superimposed on the screen. Such is the way of things, NRB. TikTok is a large lefty community. Dude, TikTok is a large everything community. There are a bunch of fucking conservatives over there. There are a bunch of pedophiles. There are a bunch of uh, weirdo fucking, I don't care. No shit. This horse shit corresponds to the most obnoxious puzzle in the history of platformer games. 15 hours down the line. But we'll deal with that later. Do the puzzle? We'll do it. Okay, so you... What? The birds all dash in a direction that corresponds to the direction of a dash. So white... Purple, blue, orange, purple, yellow. White, purple, blue. Wait, where's orange? Is that red? Red, purple. There we go. God damn right. I know! If you thought that was esoteric, just wait till you get to the fucking other one. Sorry, Thomas. Wait. That's a $5 minimum, baby. Nice try. These fucking jabronis out of here. They'll try anything. You. <laughs> I'm fucking God. I spot all secrets. Haven't played this game in like a year. It doesn't even matter. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Well. Alright. I've never played La Mulana. Is it any good? I want to see you play Dance Dance for Revolution. I don't know why, but I think it would be enjoyable. I'm sure you would find it enjoyable, comrade. Maybe one day. You'd probably like Ori in the Blind Forest. Actually, I played Ori in the Blind Forest, and I was not a huge fan of it myself. Um, all the- everything was just dots of light, and the combat was pretty unsatisfying. It just felt like everything was- everything was just designed to be pretty in the most generic way possible, you know?
Fuck Mary, Care Philosophy Tube, ContraPoints, and H Bomber Guy. Listen, I like all of them very much. You know what really sucks? Listen, this is the real fucking horse shit, okay? What really sucks is that I had plans to go to VidCon this year and hopefully see and then like get in good graces with all the fucking all the fucking cool bread tube people, you know? Like I was gonna meet Philosophy Tube and H Bomber Guy and Contra and so on and so forth. And now everyone's got fucking corona. Just corona everywhere. No chance of them still doing Politicon. No chance. Now I'll never have friends. Would you play a Kiyo game? Also, why ISNT there a Kiyo game? Keijo, the, the button booby game? I'd absolutely play the button booby game. I love button booby games. Whoa! I'm a button booby fan, I'd say. Why? Why? Prego, my ego. I really appreciate it, comrade. Listen, we're all having fun here. That's what matters most. Oh! A Zoe is a thought. I can't think of names on the spot for shit. I am incredibly bad at it. Politicon or VidCon? VidCon. Politicon is a more niche event and also full of more insufferable people. Though, if I go to Politicon, assuming it's not cancelled, and it will be cancelled, but if it wasn't cancelled, I could probably heckle Charlie Kirk from a crowd. That'd be pretty fun. No. Yeah? This is just these... Just these phenomenally ripe milkers. I mean, just really, really meaty stuff, you know? Yeah, this is tough. Am I still reading chat? Yeah, of course I'm reading chat. It was difficult for me too back when the text-to-speech spam was more severe, but now that we're here, yeah, of course. I love you guys. Oh my god! Was under budget today and decided to support my local ethos. Big booby, big booby, enjoy quarantine. First of all, big booby indeed, Have comrade. Have you seen the Red no! Destiny debate? Real fecking funny, why do you take pictures with your younger fans? Anglod33, first of all, that was disgustingly generous of you. Thank you so goddamn much. Um, I, I am indeed an e-boy, and I am proud to be an e-boy, and I will not shy away from that label. Um, I am enjoying quarantine, it has not affected my daily schedule uh, in the slightest, thankfully. <laughs> and thank you, seriously. And Ghost of FDR with the five bucks. Um, I have seen the, the debate. It was very funny. And as I want to remind you guys, Coach Redpill will be on this stream in just two days. Won't that be fun? I'm sure he's got some very convincing psychoanalysis of me to share with us. How do you plan to deal with Coach Red Pill? Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. I don't really have a plan, and I don't feel like I need to have a plan because he's not a very impressive person. Um, so, 
Coach Red Pill is a rape apologist. Oh, he's a huge piece of shit. He's literally this 50 year old guy who believes that women are all subhuman and he only, he claims to only date and fuck 19 year olds and 18 year olds and stuff. I know what I'm gonna do though. Wait, is he watching? If he's what I can't say, if he's watching, I can't say it because it's top tier strategy. Do people ever come into your stream trying to pull you to the right? No. That's- that's the funny thing, by the way. You wanna know- <sighs> You wanna know something really funny? No. People don't ever come on to try and bring me over to the right. Or try to bring my audience over to the right. Of all the conservatives I've argued with, they've never seemed to make an actual effort to convince me or my audience. Because to them, debate is just a way of demonstrating power. And they know, and I think they know this, there's no fucking way they're ever going to get us. That's why I don't have much of a problem with, like, uh, platforming some dipshit conservatives to come on here. I trust you guys. You know? You guys aren't like the, 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 the brainlit fucking uh, Neanderthals who consume, like, Sargon content or... Crowder content where you're just you're just you blow in the wind and you just follow whatever you're told I really do believe you guys. I trust you guys way more than that. And I think they know that But yeah, I think they know now listen Hey conservatives will do their best little like rhetoric like play by game when they have a neutral audience around when they're if they if a conservative and a leftist are debating one another in front of like a broad audience the conservative will bust out their best you know like uh the the faux smile and their you know the best rhetoric they can try and paint a good picture of their movement but if it's just with leftists they make no such effort and ben shapiro has said this because he has said there was no point in ever talking to a leftist unless there was an audience there that you can destroy them in front of and the reason that all of this is the case twofold one they know they can't actually change our minds because we're right and their arguments are unconvincing to people who understand how to engage in rational thought and for two also very important because um they know, um, uh, um, wait, what was two? Was that one? I think I just rolled both of them into one. I think I, I, I had two and then I think I just said both of them, um, in the one. Huh? What are you gonna do? That's why they're so afraid of talking to us. They know they're susceptible to being moved over in a way that we are not. Butts, farts, 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 butts, farts. I mean, when you're right, you're right. Thank you, Gina Ragnos. Fuck Bloomberg too. Anyway, anyway, just something to uh, just something to keep in mind to think about. There's only been one time, just one time, that somebody has said that because of me, they ended up going conservative because I introduced them to conservative arguments through my videos, um, and they found those arguments more convincing. And that one person was a YouTube commenter, and then people took a look at the YouTube commenter's history and found they had been a conservative since 2014. Long before I was Purge ever that on YouTube. Thank you, Ghost of FDR. And they were just lying. And that's it. That's the one time. But I make sure... I put a lot of effort... Into making sure... On lockdown in the UK and my wage lord is making me go to work anyways. Love how you handle... Nazis and destiny when he is being a child about the utopia. <laughs> Thank you, comrade. I'm really sorry that- I'm really, really, really sorry that they haven't closed your wedgie cagey. It's a fucked up situation we're all in. And by we all, I mean you guys, because I work from home anyway, but still. I hope it goes well, and thank you for the generosity. Um... Huh. So I am going to propose my PhD thesis in chemistry next week, and I am a nervous fucking... Wreck. Today's stream was absolutely hilarious, so thank you. 
It's been an oddly calming stream today. My pleasure, comrade. It has not been calming for me in the slightest, but I'm glad you feel that way. Um, good luck with your PhD thesis. Um, what happened to Extreme Dad? Uh, Extreme Dad was always basically a Nazi. He's one of the Kiwi Farms types. He's he's Gosh, a lunatic. Legitimate question: Why do straight men get so upset about doing anything around their butt? Prostate is there for a reason, don't they know that? I mean, no, they don't. I've known guys who are legit too insecure to wash their asses in the shower. Like, they just leave it. They, they don't do it, you know? Um, I, I don't know. It's some wild stuff. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Do I know about fourth theory? Yes, I know about fourth theory. Name and shame them? I will not name and shame them, no. Is wiping gay? Um, yeah, a little bit, but that's a good thing. Um, anyway, this is something that I care a lot about. Allow me to... Here we go. First level down. True. Yeah, true, trans girl Lily. This is something that I care a lot about. I make a very concerted effort to try and c present a holistic view of the world to you guys, so you don't go in directions that I'm ideologically uncomfortable with. Um, you know how Sargon is not himself a Nazi? He, he isn't. I don't think he believes in the Jewish question. But a ton of people who watch Sargon then go on to become Nazis because he basically leads them there. He leads them all the way there, you know. Hatred for progressivism, hatred for multiculturalism, close the borders, white people should belong, should be in white nations, and so on and so forth. There's a huge conspiracy of leftists who are trying to use academia to destroy the white man. All of that crap, you know. Uh, Muslim rape gangs and, yeah, all that shit. Um, he leads you, like, all the way there. And then, of course, his fans are going to take the next few steps because, unironically, being a neo-Nazi is more ideologically consistent than being a Sargon fan. Sargon is stupider than most Nazis that I've engaged with because Nazis, while they do have a deliberately irrational worldview, at the very least have an internally consistent one. Caitlin Bennett is a fascist, KPC Cinema. The person she's married to posts neo-Nazi propaganda on Twitter. Caitlin Bennett is a Nazi or a fascist, one or the other. We've got two more strawberries to get, boys. Look, it helpfully divides the levels into segments so you don't have to go back and explore areas that you have nothing left to collect in. Isn't that nice? See? This one has a missing strawberry, and this has a strawberry and a B-side, both of which we're going to get. Not all of us can be so lucky, trans girl Lily. But, um, I put a lot of effort into making sure... I don't want anyone to think that my views are, like... Honeypot of him grow up and realize that it's gonna be the Ciencius. I can see it, Ciencius, Ciencius. Yeah, extreme dads of pedo. Um, among other things. But, um, am I wrong that bisexual and pansexual are interchangeable for most people? No, you're not wrong. That's true for most people. Um, uh, anyway. Ow. Um, anyway, I don't want anyone to believe that my beliefs are the be-all, end-all of political advocacy. Like, like, I know everything, like, I'm the end game, you know? I don't want anyone to believe that or to act that way. I want people to explore other creators to challenge my ideas, but... One sec. A couple weeks ago I came out to my girlfriend as non-binary. You and Lumi ruin huge reasons why. Your work is very important, and I really appreciate what you do. Aww. Trans rights. Trans rights, comrade. That's really rad. Congratulations. I assume from the tone of your 
donation that your girlfriend took it well. Get the crystal heart? I already did. I already got the crystal heart. Good on you, comrade. Anyway, I want you guys to challenge my ideas and stuff, but I feel like I do a good job of not leading people in directions that I'm uncomfortable with. For example, while I am in many ways pretty hard abiding on class lines, I have never been a class reductionist, nor do I advocate for anything resembling class reductionism. Um, though I do believe in the importance and power of revolutionary activity, I have never um, glorified violence, nor have I ever engaged in any tanky shit. You know? Um, I have del I have, I, I'm a progressive, but I've called out, you know, like the woke scoldy types because I think they hurt broad scale our chances. Bernie 2020 AOC 2024. True! I just, I make an effort. Here, return the map because we got that one little strawberry. I just, I make a, a very concerted effort to avoid leading you guys in directions I don't want to see you go in. Does that make sense? Believe me, we know your take on Bernie or Bust is still hot garbage. Nah. All right, whatever you say. YouTube chat is upset you banned that Joker spammer. Aw, oh, did they like him? Ah, well. We have one strawberry and one cassette tape to get, folks. Oops. You reach out, well done, comrade. I try. You do advocate for reduction in class sizes in school, though. You're not a progressive, you're a leftist. It's what progressives are afraid to commit to. <laughs> True in all respects, though I do think it's important to call myself a progressive in addition to being a leftist, because there are people who advocate for socialist economics who are themselves quite socially reactionary. Whether we like it or not, and I know this is cringe and brat-pilled and, and poop-pilled, but it's still important to recognize the very uncomfortable fact that Eric Stryker is a socialist. You know, Strasser was a socialist. Um. You trust to say? Well, it'll have you know I am a mysticist libertarian free will 911 truther. Who runs an 11 year old Windows Vista computer? My boomer energy is unparalleled. A Y A Y A one half. True! Got a, got a task bar taller than your actual fucking um, Chrome monitor. I know how it'd be. Um, go back? No, no, I already... Go back? Wait, I... He doesn't call himself a socialist, though he calls himself an anti-capitalist. The reason why I'm saying this is because it is possible to be a socialist and still be reactionary. And I think that by folding the term progressive into the term leftist, we're pretending that's not the case, which can have the unfortunate consequence of erasing um, acts of bigotry committed by people who are Poop economically pill. progressive. Poop pill! The only pill worth taking. MF Zoom, I haven't released it yet. Wait, are you referring to like you watched the stream VOD of the confidence video? Or are you or or are you referring to the older video I did on it? Either way, MF Zoom, I'm really glad you liked it. Have I seen Dr. Stone? Um yeah, I have. Wait, did I actually miss something back there? 
Were the Nazis suck Dems? N no, no. Do you think Corona will chant for Trump's chances? I think tr uh, coronavirus is actually going to increase Trump's chances. I missed something back there? Okay. No! Q10, I have not yet. Well, there you go, Ciancia, Ciancia, Evelyn. Did you know that jazz is a bastardization of the waltz? How do you not know high oh. culture? Ah, yes. Nglob33, thank you so much for the incredibly generous donation. I really appreciate it. God. You know what? You know what's a little frustrating? For those of you who haven't seen it... For those of you who haven't seen it, the beginning of the debate between Destiny and Eric Stryker had Destiny... had Eric Stryker, um, bringing up music theory. Which is the worst thing to bring up with Destiny, because he was literally a music major. major. Um... Uh, just like this deeply embarrassing shit. And, um, yeah, no, that shit was really funny. And what frustrates me is that if I had been the one debating Stryker, as genuinely brain damaged as he is, if I had been the one debating Stryker, I wouldn't have been able to own him that hard on that subject because I don't have a music major. Like, I'll never have that level of understanding of music. It's not my major. It's frustrating to me that that's something that I'll never like. That's that's if, if if I had been there, that was something that I couldn't have done. That Destiny could do, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I'm going. I'm not gonna like preemptively research musical structure in case it comes up in a debate. You know, of course I could learn it if I wanted to, but a Reaper Foxy, you can email it to me or you can uh, Twitter Twitter it at me. But your trust is not misplaced. Boomer or not, ID never go conservative because they're cruel and just don't make sense lol. They fundamentally issue logic and the left doesn't. It's that simple. Will you ever talk with healthy gamers, True. DG? You could have an interesting convo on incels. I will stream the RE3 remake. Flowery Jane, I really appreciate it, comrade. It's been tough times for a lot of folks, but I am glad I can help some people. I got you, MF Zoom. Um, and I would be absolutely willing to talk with Healthy Gamer GG. Um, but Healthy Gamer GG streams on Twitch, which means they would not be able to have me. Um, but unlike E-S-T-E-B-A-H-N-B-O-N-O-B-L-O, you'd actually look up meta studies of music or find a music expert to help you to have an actual understanding of a subject that I SNT your forte. Oh yeah, sure, Sake Tanuki, but that's not something I could do on if hand. If you donate if... too much, we will have to eat you. <laughs> it's way too late for that, comrade. Um, it's not something I could do, like, on the fly, though, Sake, right? Like, if I was debating Stryker, and he brought that up, I couldn't be like, Oh, wait, this sounds like bullshit. Hold on, let me get my music expert. You know what I mean? I I'd have to just, like, eat it. I think, I think, ugh, what's the limit of what I could say? I think I'm pretty good at making generalized arguments about that kind of stuff, though. Damn, I wasn't able to get the other strawberry. Return to map. No, restart chapter. What are, what are some arguments that I could make? Let me think. I think your duty as a fascist vanguard is going to be more important than ever soon. Wieners, 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 I'm inclined to agree, comrade. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Aeon Windsor. Um, okay, okay, wait, let's be serious for a second. What could I say? 
What's the weird subject you could just stomp someone on that we wouldn't expect? Flash, uh, you should make a video on how the West Wing ruined a generation of Democrats. I would love to make a video on that, personally. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of my talents are known to the stream. Um, I took a lot of art history classes. Also, unlike Steven, you'd remember from the last debate and do so for the next one or it least challenge him with that's nice and all but that's not what i asked you then repeat the question i keep forgetting it's a thing well yeah sake tanuki that's more of a rhetorical thing wait i keep forgetting the strawberry is on fucking okay hold on um there we go sorry 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 yeah um i, I i've taken many art history classes um, I have a feeling I could do pretty good on that. But let me think, what are the arguments that I could use just off the cuff? Uh, let me, let me think for a second, okay? Um, so I could, so here are some easy ones. Here are some gimmies, okay? White people don't listen to Beethoven anymore. Nobody fucking listens to classical music anymore. This is something that's usually used for, like, soundtracks, or it's referenced, or it's uh, made like a, like a, um... Uh, uh, what, a refrain, you know? But as an actual active, like, thing to listen to, very few people do that. Very, very, very few people do that. Um, so it's obviously not, like, this yearning cultural plot product of whiteness. It's just something that we move on from. Um, all forms of art change, uh, over time. Um, all forms of art are subject to development and growth, and they are a reflection of the perceptions and will of the people of their time. There's no such thing as, like, the eternal white music. Um... That uh, that that doesn't that doesn't fucking happen. Um, if if classical music is just infinitely tonally superior to all other forms of music, then why does nobody listen to it anymore? Um, there are there are like incredibly you know proficient, praised, well-rated musicians today that um, do all kinds of music that I don't think Striker would like very much. Everything ranging from like hip hop to uh, prog rock, to R&B, to weird experimental shit, to fucking electronic dance music. Um, and many of these things are very well respected, even in the upper echelons of musical critique. Um, so if that is the case, then why, then by what basis could you argue that classical music is superior? What exactly do you mean by high culture? What is high culture? Um, when you define high culture, things like opera and things like classical music, it seems more like we're just defining stuff that wealthy people like. But wealthy people don't like things because they're good, necessarily. And just because something is advertised to wealthy people does not necessarily make it better than other forms of things. After all, Baroque music, which we now consider to be high culture, was originally in an like a, like this derivative like low po almost like poppy form of like classical music uh now when we hear baroque we think like oh yes ho ho ha ha you know powdered wigs and and little you know uh, conductors wands but back in the day that would have been considered like the the cheapened watered down version you know um stuff like that okay those are arguments that i could make off the cuff without any more knowledge of music but is that enough? Where is that last damn strawberry? It's pretty good IMO. Okay, well, happy to hear it. How are you so educated in a wide variety of topics? I'm not really. I mean, nothing that I just said right there was the product of any higher understanding of music. Those are just some basic, just basic logical conclusions. Oh, Talcat. Ooh, Talcat, that's a good one. The term high culture is literally a reflection of class privilege. For somebody who LARPs as a socialist, like Stryker, referring to something as being better because it's high culture is literally a reification of bourgeois tendencies. Oh, that's such a good argument. Damn, that's a really good one. Wanted to trigger the jingle for once. Shout Thank out you. to my Shapiro worshipping brother for... Trying to argue the other day that drag ISNT in art form for reasons he can't articulate. 
kids these days. Yeah, a lot of conservatives think that trying to take away something's classification as art is like them saying it's bad. Like they, like they think, I don't like this thing. And then to them, that means it's not art. It's a deeply fascistic way of looking at the world, but that's what you're gonna get. Um, thank you, comrade. I really, really appreciate it. That's incredibly generous of you. And thank you, hyena. Can I say hig higgledy piglety? Well, there you go. Anyway, that 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 accusation of hypocrisy, the 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 reification of bourgeois politics, that's a really really good argument. Oh, here, it's got to be up here, right? It wasn't up there. But yeah, like, how do I know so many? Th I I don't like know a bunch of things. Um, unironically, like a lot. I know this isn't me jerking him off. This is just a fact of the matter. A lot of the stuff that I, um... Uh, um... That I picked up on to try and develop, like, a cohesive worldview came from Destiny's stream. Um... Because he, he's a pretty active learner. Go back? It was in the last room? Alright. Um, but a lot of it is just about the... A lot of it is just about the mentality behind a falling block, really? Were you like the only smart Destiny viewer this whole time? Haha! <laughs> well, no other Destiny viewers went on to become fucking 3k viewer Andes. Oh, is there really no way back? Wait, hold on. Wait. No, I can do that. Wait. That's doable. Yes. Um, what now? Does Hassan not count as a viewer? I don't think Hassan was like a regular Destiny viewer. I could be wrong on that. There isn't a way to go back from here, is there? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, Secretary, I think something that's really important is to call out conspiracy. So, this is something that Nazis will do. Eric Stryker did it plenty during his debate. It's whenever he doesn't have an answer. Mike Enoch did it too. Whenever uh, he doesn't have, a, like, an answer, he'll just, like, allude that the Jews are responsible for his worldview not making sense. Uh, Mike Enoch did this the most egregiously when he was debating Destiny. Um, Mike Enoch was like, uh, well, most Americans, uh, most white Americans feel the, like they're the victims of racism. And then Destiny was like, nope, I've taken a look at that study. That is not the case. Actually, most of them think that it would be better if we did less racism. And then Mike Enoch said, hmm, heh, well, like to get some more specific demographics on those uh, white kids. Ah, here we are. There we go. You know? So, so all of a sudden, a study that Mike Enoch was using to support his point he was like, oh, well, actually, it's Jewish propaganda. Uh, 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 the moment, like, it was pointed out that he was misrepresenting the statistics. You have to call them out on that. You have to just say it like it is. Just say, like, damn, sure is convenient that every time you're wrong, the fact that you're wrong can be explained by you with no evidence whatsoever saying the Jews are responsible for it. Sure, it's the answer, yes. Didn't Sargon do that when he said no to a study because California? Yep. I provided him like a he, like a very concrete source explaining how he was wrong. And he was like, well, it came out of San Francisco. So, you know, I don't know, Wage Slaves Unite. Don't look like a fucking idiot. Well, yeah, of course, because they want to blame China for it, naturally. Racist gonna racist. Yes, Wraithwrecker, there was a clip of uh, Nick Fuentes doing that. Just usually they're not stupid enough to outright admit it. 
Araxiel, I've heard that for some people it's not appearing, but for most people it seems to be appearing. Um, today I had like 900 viewers, and uh, the day before, I'm sorry, the day before I had like 3,300, and those aren't numbers that I would get if like nobody was getting my fucking thing, so. Yeah, facts aren't God, Ghost of FDR, yeah. Damn. No, NRB, I would not. Yamada, mass culture and high culture liter are literally just reflections of how, like, the line settled in the culture we're referring to. It's not in any way, shape, or form a prescriptive judgment as to the quality of the art. This game looks hard. This is the easy stuff. Gotta go faster. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That ain't it. Here we go. We should be good here. We were not good there. We were not good there. We were not good there. Oh, thank you, Loopster. From best, you know? Fuck that up. I can give it a shot, Prego Mayago. Let me win! Yeah, block Caligula. Okay. Damn it! Who's in last place? What are we referring to, J-Slow? Uh, no! There we go. First try. Bernie is in last place? Yeah, of course Bernie is in last place. Bernie isn't going- just look? Is this a meme? Okay, okay, people are laughing. Alright, I'll just... Okay. True! Alright, that's funny. Toss a coin to oh, shit. Streamer, all of you was plenty. Long time no donation. The governor of my state, CO, just shut ordered us to stay home, but... It's still legal to get weed. Take some of my weed money. <laughs> Thank you, comrade. I appreciate your weed bucks and your overall generosity. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Stay safe out there, folks. Oh, I nearly fucking... You have to spend it on weed, too? I'll keep that in mind. You gonna post a debate with Ralph? No, I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. Yes, I did, Smooth Brain Pig. Pedo's gonna pedo. What do you, what do you, what do you want? There we go. Yeah, it wasn't even a debate. Nice, Raging Red Fox. Here we go. Here's the final room. No, it's not. 
it's Ralph Apito. Um, as I understand it, and this isn't me joking, by the way, apparently one time Ralph, like, left the mic on when he thought that he hadn't, and he, like, there was, like, noises that made it sound like he was masturbating, and the name he kept saying was Soph. The 14-year-old Nazi girl, you know? So, you know, I don't know. I don't have any pictures of him raping kids, but... I don't know how charitable I feel like being to him, generally speaking. Uh, Block Caligula, I would, I strongly disagree. No, well, no, no, Block Caligula. No, that would just be full socialism, because then you've abolished both the, um, you've seized both the means, of, you've seized the means of production, and you've changed the form of production. That's, that's just, that's just socialism. And Glod 33, um, I don't really feel like talking about Soph, because Soph isn't a real person. Soph, as an online figure, is just um, is, is just a collection of views um, that uh, uh, that uh, have been channeled through her um, that were written up and conscripted by hey, her Nazi Josh. older brother. Curious as to who you think are some of the best and worst presidents in U.S. history. Also, this is my first and last time donating. J.K. Haha, or am I? Uh, I I don't know. Just normie answers, dude. Andrew Jackson uh, is probably the worst. Abraham Lincoln is probably the best. I don't. I don't have like any super interesting answers on the subject. I'm afraid. I, I wish I. I wish I did. Um, happy to happy to have your donation, even if I have nothing interesting to say in response. Also, hi, Kanye. Hope Soph's are able to recover from that. Oh, probably not. Soph's entire life is going from this point forward is probably her going to be taken advantage of by you know um, people who want to exploit her in some way or another. Remember, all conservatives are pedophiles. Goes doubly for the Nazis. We got this. After we beat this uh, B side, I'm going to uh, show you guys a run of Hades. Yes, Yamada. A lot of people, um, a lot of people don't understand how significant a change that would be. Andrew Jackson versus Trump. Trump is not the worst president in our history, though he may end up procuring the worst political environment. Is there a meaningful distinction between reactionaries and conservatives? Conservative is just a broad catch-all term for bad people. Reactionary specifically Been means watching that you your content for a while are anti-progressive. recommend your vids to all my political type friends. Finally got my employer to let me quarantine so I can watch all your streams on my TV while I work. Nice, comrade. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're making um, you know, a uh, a uh, 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 good time um or you're making good use of the um of the situation. I really appreciate that, comrade. I mean, that is that is how channels grow. And um Every time I wake up and see new folks are subscribed to the channel, I think, like, what happened to bring that about? That's really flattering, you know? If I grab the wall on the left side of the screen, then the thing will retract too quickly. I have to go faster. Thoughts on planned economies? Um, they can be fine. I just... Not the direction I tend to lean in. Ah, come on! No, reactionary and progressive are definitional opposites, Manillion. Uh, there. One or the other. Damn it! She's fine, Pregama. Here you go. Is this guy a Nazi? Well, that's Eric Stryker. 
Um, so probably, yeah, unless there's a different Eric Striker. Hmm. Damn it. That's a black football player. Well, they well, don't be too hasty. It can still be a Nazi. Come on. Let me live. Reagan versus Trump. Reagan was a much worse president than Trump. Blah Caligula. I think that markets... Have you heard about that British animated series on Netflix called Hilda? Yep. It's genuinely phenomenal and deserves all the praise that it's garnered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Great show. Thought its third act was a little bit I aimless. I am watching but... Voosh see the dumb robot. Bemoid said it wrong. Also, how did you know you'd reach the audience you have when you started stream? You mean this particular stream or streaming in general? I didn't. How could I have ever known? I, I, I didn't know. I just started streaming because folks said that I probably should. And you know, here I am. That works too, Courtney. Do you mean like this stream specifically? Uh oh. All conservatives are pedophiles. Foucault's observation of biopower in history of sexuality highlights the need for the relations of power to use sexuality as a carrot and stick. Children are at the center of conservative anxiety as a result. True! That is unironically the reason, though. Conservatives are obsessed with hierarchy in all of its forms, and what greater hierarchy is there than sexually exploiting a young person? I mean, that's that's a... <laughs> if you get up on hierarchy, that's about as good as it gets, right? What are your thoughts on Naruto so far? 6969. Better than I thought it would be. I, um... Oh my goodness. I'm only like 10 episodes into shipping in right now, though. I almost pissed myself when you got interrupted from talking about Joe's allegation by TTS. Saying doink for two minutes. Seriously, though, I RLLY appreciate you, this community, and the stream in general. And I appreciate your, frankly, absurd generosity, comrade. Um, thank you so much. I, um, <laughs> I do think this is a great community. I'm very, very happy to be a part of it. Um, thank you. Sorry, I didn't, didn't have anything too fancy uh, to say to that myself. I just, I, I agree. And thank you so much for your kindness. Damn it! We almost had that. Seriously, thank you, man. That's really generous. We'll do text-to-speech very occasionally, okay? That'll be the rule. Very occasionally. What's the best thing about Bastia? I don't know. Bastia seems like a chill dude. Uh, you know, neoliberalism. Did you know that side. in 1966, Ronald Reagan described the California Fair Housing Act as an attempt to give one segment of our population a right at the expense of the basic rights of all our citizens? I mean, the funny thing is, that's not really that different from something that, like, a Lindsey Graham type would say these days. He just said it more fancy like, you know? 
Reagan set the groundwork for all of the insanely fucking sociopathic shit the Republican Party does these days. Um, like, it's, he, he kind of set the, he set the standard, you know? Um, all the contempt for poor people. I mean, it had been there before, but also keep in mind that yay back in the day, um, there used to be a kind of populism to, um, to conservative political strategy. Well, Andernax, of course. Helps that she was a good conversationalist. Okay, yeah, Nixon may have set the tone first, but I think we can agree that Reagan probably solidified the tendencies. When did California's homelessness rise to his current state? Um, when Reagan shut down all the mental facilities. Haha, <laughs> text to speech machine go. Burr. True! That's fucking true. Wait, that... It stopped? Oh, it stopped. Okay. I mean, it does go burr. Oh, that's the spam detection. That's kind of funny. This is the beginning of the game. God damn it. Oh, I see. Woo! Duly noted, Courtney. Courtney, you seem very passionate about this. I am not much of a music man myself, you know. You gotta do it like this, maybe? B R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R You did accomplish something. Was it what you were looking to accomplish? They're in. Effectively destroyed the spam protection. No, let me out! Spam bot compromised, Monkus. Okay, this is the last room, I think. Oh, actually, I have played this before. This isn't the final room? Okay. Watching this gives me anxiety. Well, it's a very relaxing game, I think. I mean, it's an incredibly difficult game. This and Hollow Knight are some of the most difficult games I've ever played. They easily beat out um, Dark the Dark Souls games. Like, not even close. Not even close. Oh, we're gonna play Hades tonight. Break down your position on Lollicon. What about non-erotic lolly art? What? What is non-erotic lolly art? Wouldn't that just be a drawing of a girl? Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. That's that's all right. You can you if you 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 can draw a girl if you want.
I'm not trying to ridicule. I'm just curious. Haha, text to speech machine. Go B R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R it does do that, actually. You've kind of made that tautologically the case, you know? Thought lolly art was inherently sexual. Okay, first of all, thank you for the dono. Um, lolly... There are some people... Okay, there are some people who use the term lolly just to refer to young girls. Now, to be clear, these people deserve to be shot. Um, so so just, just so it's known... This is a this is a segment of the population that deserves to be shot. Okay, so now that we know that, um, but for the most part, lolly just means drawn child pornography. Damn it. Lolly does just mean young girl, though, like in terms of the actual Japanese. Yeah, okay, but nobody fucking uses it that way. Like, hentai doesn't actually just... Hentai doesn't mean porn in Japanese. Hentai means, like, weird, creepy, or perverted. But if you're, if you're like, um, ha, that's hentai, wah, in hentai... In like, hearts, I know that I could never love again. I've lost everything, everything. That matters to me matters in this world. It all returns to nothing. It just keeps tumbling down tumbling down true great song by the way that's a song i'd love to play on stream sometime but i know i'd get copyrighted maybe one day on d live we can play come sus your thought now cringe Bay Ubermans with regulatory agencies. Um, you know? Same ones we got today. Just better, hopefully. Lolita is a European book. Um, the term lolly... I don't know the etymology of the word. Some of my friends have been sharing supposedly non-lolly art, even though I argue lolly comes from lolita. Wait, isn't non lolly art just all art? Wait, what is non lolly art? Isn't that isn't that everything? Oh, yeah. Well, Flevier, I'd hope they'd be government controlled, right? It's another tough one, Don Mako. Non-sexual lolly art? What is non-sexual lolly art? Is it just like drawings of g girls? Like like girls just like being like cute anime girls? One thing I read yesterday was that California is thinking about selling its own generic medicine to lower drug prices, essentially a state-owned industry. I wonder if it will pass and work. That's interesting. I hadn't heard that. Well, anything would be better, I imagine, than our current system, so... Be interesting to see how that plays out. It's just supposed to be super cute anime girls. Um, Did so... you know Karl Marx had a maid who he refused to pay a wage, got her pregnant, and refused to provide for her and her child? Is that true? Uh, that's pretty base. Making off like a bandit, Marx. Nah, seriously. Yeah, there there are some ways in which. Hey, Vosh, why is it so hard for sexual assault victims to afford a rape case? Also, do you think Joe Biden sexually assaulted Tara Reid? I have no evidence save her accusation, which isn't really evidence. Um, so I don't think anything on it. Only that Joe Biden is probably the type of person I imagine who would do that sort of thing. Um. <sighs> Let me, let me be done. Let me be done. Also, okay, if you're just draw, if you're just posting like cute pics of anime girls, but like they're young, but they're not naked, that's not lolly. That's called moe. 
which is which means like feeling. It's supposed to evoke a, a like a feeling of wanting to protect them. Um, you know, like Kaon. Kaon does that pretty well. You know. Yeah, I know Moe is more than young girls, but it would fit in that category. Damn it. What's the lore behind this game? You're an anxious trans girl trying to prove yourself by climbing a big mountain. Don't worry about it, Dad. There's a rock under the third conveyor. Oh shit, there is a rock! Have I watched Blend S? No, I have not. I forgot how long B sides are. Blend S has some gross shit. What's in Blend S? Is she actually trans? No, she's actually trans. It's it was it's just like a little teaser thing you get at the end of the game, but she's trans. No, let me in. What? Wait, for real? Yes! What, are you saying you can't have trans fucking video game characters, you piece of shit? Is that what you're saying? Libs are actually saying that she's a Russian agent. Didn't she actually have some weird ties to Russia? Didn't she, like, defend Putin, like, in a weird, orchestrated way sometime? you're gonna play doom listen i tried to play doom with all my might okay painful ac that's that sounds like a bad thing listen i don't have anything against horny shit but them them girls got to be overage oh that reminds me this is what i was gonna say earlier but i forgot because i get cut off by a text to speech yes Nice, we did it. This is my top secret anti-coach red pill rhetoric, okay? Fuck. Are you ready for it? All right? Because this is a guy, this is like some 50-year-old dude who's always bragging about how he only gets the freshest pussy, like 18, 19 years old, okay? I'm gonna ask him, wait, if he's in for the fresh pussy, um, like, why doesn't he just go younger? Right? He's in YouTube chat? Ah, oh, well. Spoilers. Like, why doesn't he go younger? Is it because it'd be illegal? Have you watched Beastars? I have, yeah, I've championed Beastars many times. Thanks for finally playing Celeste on stream. Only 174 but fuck deaths. You for playing it at 6 a.m. Eastern European. Good night, three. Good night, comrade, and thank you for the generosity. Now, as promised, a round of Hades.